What was that? I don't know. Hey guys, it's Tech Thunder, and what I'm about to show you is some improv storytelling by my good friend Sauce, and this is what I was able to record, so I hope you enjoy. Cookies instead of biscuits, and the change was so dramatic for him that he had to go start stealing um, from banks that still had um, biscuits in them, because they hadn't fully upgraded to the new currency. And so, he started living a life of crime, because he's a... And he was on the run from the biscuit police, because there, there was a, a special <laughs> branch of the police that guarded the biscuits. And eventually he was like, well, I've had enough of this, because you get free biscuits in prison. And he was like, I'm just going to give myself in. <laughs> and so, he was sent to prison for ten years, until so he lived a life of luxury. In prison, <laughs> he even made a cell out of his own biscuits. There was a cell within a cell of biscuits. <laughs> Eventually he decided, I've had enough of this. And he asked for parole, but they said, you stole too many biscuits, so you can't have parole. So what he did was, he waited for them to upgrade the... He got moved to a new prison called the Biscuit Prison. It was made completely out of biscuits. And so he ate his way out and escaped. And... <laughs> <there's stuff here. laughs> and so... The, uh, the biscuit police had had a massive manhunt for Mr. Biscuit and eventually Mr. <laughs> Mr. Biscuit was, was found and he decided I've had enough of this so he made himself a rope made out of biscuit like material you know like cookie dough it's quite moldable he made like a cookie dough hanging rope a noose and he hung himself with cookie dough off a tree and that's the end of the story of Mr. Biscuit <laughs> did you like my story? <laughs> it's terrible <laughs> I completely made it up on the spot. I thought that was quite good. Very depressed, as the event would suggest. And after a while, he lost his job. And he just became Jim, the ex-milkman. Oh my god, I'm getting shot. That's not very nice. And so Jim, the ex-milkman, was actually getting shot at himself. Um, he, as he ran through the country, this guy's a really bad shot. Oh, he's sniping. And he's so broke. Jim, the milkman, or the ex-milkman, was, uh, well, he, he just wasn't the same. I can imagine. That, and so, he, he, he decided he needs to get his job back and he needs to fix the milk crisis. So he goes on a magical journey to America. And he thinks, I'm gonna steal some milk from the greatest milk bank in the world. And so, he begins planning for this, this, this heist of heists. He decided the best way to approach this was to walk in and say, can I have some milk please? Because he didn't quite understand the whole crime thing. So he walks into the bank and says, can I have some milk? And they said, that is $20 for a pint of milk. Because they like overcharging Eastern European people because why the hell not? Uh, the milkman says, he says, okay, what's a dollar? And they say, it is money. And because obviously he comes from that strange, backwards, Eastern European country, he goes, what's money? And the woman, the woman says that she says, uh, oh, I see a person. And she said, oh, I see a person behind you. And the person came up behind him and stabbed the milkman right in the behind. And that wasn't good. That wasn't good at all, because he found, he woke up in hospital, and when he woke up, there was in a hospital. single piece of, a single piece of paper on him, and it said, bill, and it had a million dollars for the bill, and he said, will you accept milk, and they said no, and so he found himself in debt, and eventually he, uh, he just ran away home, he, he, he slipped past the security and just went home, and when he got home, even the milk crisis was, was stupid, and he went back to get his job, but they said, no, I'm sorry, you can't work here anymore. And so he cried, and he cried, and he thought, the only way of solving this is to kill everyone that set myself in the world. And so he goes to Russia, and he steals a milk nuke, which is basically <laughs> a bomb that just drops milk over somewhere <laughs> until they die. <laughs> and so, uh, this happened, and everyone died, and the milkman's left alone on a mountain. The end. <laughs>